So PlayStation's Sean Layden not only was the uh, keynote speaker at DICE yesterday, he also had a bevy of interviews released this past couple days, and there's one in particular I wanted to focus on with Game Informer, where he talked about many different things, but this video in particular is going to focus on his comments about crossplay and how it's really up to developers to get in touch with their account managers and everything will be fine. You'll get your crossplay, but and you know how the internet works. One of the developers is like, something's going on here because this isn't the truth. Is Sean Layden lying? Let's get into it. What's going on guys? Randall Thor 19 the man with a million, back again with another video. And if you enjoyed this video, make sure to give it a like and subscribe if you enjoy the content. Now first, before we get into the video, I want to thank everybody who sent me well wishes uh, about my dog Barnaby. We had to put him down yesterday and it was an incredibly sad moment for the family. And I want to thank you guys who sent well wishes. Um, but I wanted to get back into making videos this is one of the ways I kind of, uh, you know, don't think about it. Just getting in there and, and doing what I love to do, which is making videos. So I appreciate everybody uh, taking time out of their day to say something really nice about uh, about Barnaby. It really it really made made me smile. So thank you guys. Ah, uh, the crossplay topic. Man, this thing never seems to go away. We remember when it was uh, Jim Ryan says, uh, gotta protect the kids, we're not doing crossplay with Minecraft. Then there was the whole stuff with Fortnite at this past E3 where Sony was just getting nailed by everybody in the media and gamers alike. And then miraculously, Sony had a beta for Fortnite where crossplay would be enabled with everybody, mobile phones, the Nintendo Switch, and the Xbox. And they said in their press release that this would, you know, happen for select third-party titles. Rocket League is finally getting uh, cross-play support between Xbox, PlayStation, and Nintendo Switch. And a lot of people were wondering, uh, would this continue? Would we start seeing bigger uh, PlayStation and Xbox games playing together? Apex Legends, the Call of Duties, the Battlefields, you name it. People were, like, really interested and seeing that come to fruition. So in this Game Informer article, I'm gonna read what Sean Layden said. He goes on to say, we got to that place in Fortnite and it seems to be going reasonably well from what I can tell. The Rocket League light up will happen soon. People keep saying, why doesn't Sony allow more people to have it? We're open for business on this one. All it takes is for publishers and developers who wish to permission it. As ever, just work with your PlayStation account manager and they will walk you through the steps that we've learned through our partnership with Epic Games on how this works. I don't believe right now there is any gating factor on that. I think they're open to make proposals because the Fortnite thing worked pretty well. So there you have it. Sean Layden pretty much saying it's on the developers. We're open to it. We're not stopping any from anybody from doing crossplay. All you gotta do is get in touch with your account managers, make a proposal, you're free to do that. And it sounds great reading this interview. Like, the interview is actually great. I'm gonna have another video going over his comments about the uh, AAA games and how they're gonna do fewer of them, but of uh, you know greater quality later on. So it's, I, I, was, I liked reading this. I, I think cross-play, cross-progression should be a thing and it shouldn't be, uh, you know, blocked off by anybody, you know? But of course, some of these developers are like, wait a minute, Sean Layden, you might be fibbing here. You might be telling a little lie. And in fact, right after the interview came out, a developer from the Wargroove uh, team, uh, Finn Bryce, posted this as a response. He goes on to say, we just lost Wargroove with crossplay between PC, Switch, and Xbox One. So I wanted to chime in. We made many requests for crossplay both through our account manager and directly with higher-ups all the way up until release month. We were told in no uncertain terms that it was not going to happen. From our side, we can literally toggle a switch and have it working. Of course, policy work might be more complicated for Sony. Just wanted to provide some balance on the issue and say that it certainly isn't a question of developers having not contacted their account managers 
or having dropped the ball. We were told no. Damn, those are pretty strong words uh, from the war group developer Finn Bryce, basically calling out Sean Layden and being like, hey, you're saying it's super easy. Just contact your account manager. We did that every single month. We even contacted the higher ups and we were told absolutely not. And this kind of gets to the crux of the issue. Is Sean Layden intentionally lying? I don't think so. I doubt he knows every small minutia of what is going on with PlayStation, just like I doubt Phil Spencer knows every small minutia of everything that goes on with Xbox. This is probably what he was told PR-wise to say, that it's really easy, just contact your account manager, blah, 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 blah probably didn't really know that some of these developers have done that or maybe he has maybe he is intentionally lying but it would be dumb to say what Sean Layden says knowing that there are developers out there that have done what this Wargroove developer has done which is asked for it and been told no so now you get down to the brass tacks of the situation Sean Layden saying they're open to it the proposals just ask Wargroove being denied. Does this mean crossplay from PlayStation side is only going to be enabled for the gigantic titles? Because Wargroove is a small indie title. Fortnite's the biggest game in the world. Rocket League is very huge. So are we basically going to see Sony only approve this for certain select third party titles like they originally said? in their beta announcement will we see it in something like apex legends which just announced 25 million players and respawn and ea are trying to get it will we see it in stuff like call of duty you know games and franchises that have pull that have millions of players publishers that can get political behind the scenes because that's what it seems like it seems like sony bent to the will of epic right to have crossplay and because they opened up the floodgates now everybody else wants it and rocket league was a huge hit it still is one of the biggest games out there that has crossplay and has enabled it and have gone on record saying it's super easy to do the war group guy says from their side they can literally toggle a switch and have it working you know we have Xbox giving a speech at GDC talking about Xbox Live coming to Nintendo Switch and iOS and Android and the crossplay features that they'll basically be able to do if you use that. It'll be super simple. They need to, Sony really needs to come out and just tell the truth on this one because I believe Sean Layden really isn't being 100% about it. I mean, you have a developer here already calling him out on what is going on. I don't think every single game that wants crossplay on PlayStation is going to get it. Even if you ask your PlayStation account manager, even if you appeal to the higher ups, I just can't imagine a scenario where a super small indie game is going to get approved. A big game, Battlefield 6 perhaps, the next Call of Duty, yes. Because those are marquee titles with big publishers that have connections to Sony, it can make it difficult for Sony, just like Epic could have made it difficult for Sony with Fortnite. Those games, if those games want it, they will get it. Apex Legends, if they push for it, they will absolutely get crossplay. Because look, it's the biggest thing right now. It's a little bit bigger than Fortnite. Well, maybe not player wise, but you get my point. It's the next hottest thing. They'll get crossplay if they want it. But some small time indie game, no matter if they, how many times they ask, no matter how many times they plead, Sony will just ignore them because they're a dime a dozen. They're nobodies, you know? Which is sad to see, but that's kind of what I'm getting at reading the interview and seeing their responses. Is that, yeah, you're just, you're just not there yet. Now, personally, like I said, I wish crossplay was enabled for everything. I particularly want cross progression. That's the thing that I want. Even more than cross play, the ability of just logging into somewhere and having my stats and character transfer over. That would be really cool. Imagine playing Anthem or Destiny 2 on your Xbox, logging into your PlayStation and everything just transfers. The same character with the same stats. You don't gotta start over. That 
is what I truly want. And that, I think, is like the pie in the sky. The crossplay stuff is nice for those that want it. But, uh, yeah, Sony, you're, uh, I, I don't know whether to believe you on this one, Sean. And I, I like Sean Layton. I really do. I think he's a very forthcoming guy. I liked his dice speech. I liked reading this interview. But this crossplay stuff is a little weird with Sony, ain't gonna lie. I, I don't think they're telling what the 100% truth. And, you know, I'm kind of, uh, happy that this Wargroove developer called them out on it. You know, the smaller devs have to call out these big publishers, these huge console manufacturers. I would want somebody to call out Xbox for their crappy policies like they did at the beginning of the gen, when they were getting called out for the parody clause and all that stuff. It was great to see these developers be like, yo, parody clause, get rid of it, Xbox. And Xbox were like, oh, we're, we're working on it, or it's not as bad. No, people need to be called out. People need to be held accountable. You can't do an interview and say that you're open for business on this one and just, hey, just ask your your account manager, you know, you're dropping the ball if you don't, and then have people come back and be like, we did and we were told no, so what's the real story, Sony? Anyways, guys, that's the video. I hope you really enjoyed it. If you did, give it a like. Let me know what you think in the comments below. Share this out on Twitter and Facebook with a friend. I greatly appreciate it. Hit that sub button if you're new. Hit that notification bell if you always want to be notified of any new video I drop in the future immediately. Thank you guys so much for watching. I greatly appreciate it, and I'll see you in the next video. Later, guys.